We have had an absolutely gorgeous week here. The sun has been out. It has been in the low 60s. I'm loving every second of it. Even though it's November, I can handle it if it's warm and it gets dark at like 4 p.m., which I'm still not happy about that. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Christy and today's video is gonna be a low carb, keto friendly grocery haul. Be warned, I do manage to hit up several different grocery stores throughout the week. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up at each one of those and I did manage to get some new items. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Whether you're new here or you've been with me for a while, hit that notification bell. So so that when I upload, you're gonna be alerted. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'll have my name right here for you. And go check out the Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. It is an amazing group of people, no keto police. You're gonna love it over there. So if you're looking for motivation, encouragement, support, or one big happy family, it's awesome. While you're down there in that description box, make sure you go through the entire thing. There's gonna be discount codes for you on some of your favorite keto items. Great way to save you some money. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up for this week's grocery haul. We made a trek to Costco this week, so while we were there, we had to wait till it opened. We ran in at Trader Joe's at about 9.30 in the morning. Didn't need a lot from Trader Joe's, but I wanted to try their almond milk, so I went ahead and picked up one of those. It's just their almond beverage, unsweetened vanilla. It's going to be low carb too. Not keto whatsoever, but Kerrigan saw this and wanted to have it on hand for the holidays. I think she's going to make it. During Christmas, this is the Trader Joe's Chocolate Peppermint loaf and baking mix sounds delicious there's not enough insulin in the world to allow me to even take one bite of this so i'm gonna sit and probably sniff it kerrigan also picked up some of the seasoning this is a japanese multi-purpose seasoning no idea about this what you put this on what you do with it it looks like it's shaken on top of some rice i don't know it looks like it's probably seaweed or something like that it's little specks maybe some sesame seeds in here if you've tried this before, let me know what you do with it. And then they had their advent calendars for 99 cents. So I went ahead and picked up two of those. One says how to build a charcuterie board for Santa and the reindeer. And the other one is 24 days of milk chocolate. So I thought two cute little advent calendars for the holidays for 99 cents. Yes, please. Again, just a few things from Trader Joe's because we really didn't need anything. We were just walking through waiting till Costco opened. So these are just uh, some of the things that we did pick up at Costco. I do have one in here that's not to keto related, but I wanted to show it because I thought it was really cool. Remember, we do not have a Costco near us. It's a 90 minute drive to get there. I do plan on going back when Chris gets home. We're gonna clean out our freezer and we are gonna stock up on a lot of the things that you all mentioned in the Facebook post. My girls love mochi for some reason. I have texture issues. We've talked about that in the past, but doesn't that look like peanut butter and jelly filling I don't know let me show you what they look like so this is gonna be a bag of 60 of these little mochi pieces and there are so many carbs in this and I think it's because this is like rice flour one just one of those 50 calories not so bad zero protein zero fat you see all these zeros you think not so bad but it's gonna have 12 carbs in there and seven sugars and this thing is honestly about the size of a quarter importance of reading labels now to a few of the items that i picked up that are going to be low carb and keto related you guys said definitely pick up the egg witch turkey sausage little sandwiches it even says right there on the front keto friendly well i did let me tell you i'm filming this the next day so i came straight home i fixed one of these i did add an additional piece of cheese and this is amazing it is delicious there's eight in here no antibiotics gluten 
gluten-free. They're individually packaged. It says to keep them frozen. I'm thinking if I set this out the night before, I'm going to eat it and let it thaw. I wouldn't have to microwave it so long because, you know, when you put stuff in the microwave, sometimes it makes it sort of like rubbery. I'm not a fan of that. But if I don't have to microwave it 50 seconds, flip it, and then another 50 seconds because it's thawed, I think it would probably do a lot better. Here's what your macros look like on that. It's going to be three carbs, well worth those three carbs, and it doesn't have any horrible ingredients. My Sam's has not had the pre-cooked bacon in what feels like decades at this point. I was completely out, so I went ahead and picked up the one they had. That's the Kirkland Signature. This one's going to be hickory wood smoked. You guys said to pick it up. It's only got 48 to 50 slices, whereas the one I normally pick up at Sam's has about 72 slices, and the ones at Sam's is normally cheaper. This one was like 16 bucks. It hurt to pay $16 for pre-cooked bacon, but I know everything's going up in price right now, and I just don't feel like frying or cooking up any bacon, so I went ahead and got it. You guys said it's amazing, and I'll let you know as soon as I try it. I saw this, and I could not leave the store without it. It's like these little appetizer bites. There's 24 little skewers in here, basically toothpicks. So this is going to be bacon wrapped Wagyu beef. There's the macros, three pieces. It's gonna be 260 calories and it's gonna be one carb. Yes, it does have sugar in this, but it's gonna be low down on the list and I'm gonna assume that's from the bacon. Another one that you all suggested, the Outer Isle Cauliflower Sandwich Thins. Two net carbs a serving on this one, made with fresh cauliflower, cage-free eggs, aged Parmesan. 14 count on this one and it even says keto friendly. Now Outer Isle does have a lot of keto items and they always put great ingredients in their products. A serving of this is gonna be two of these thins and it's going to be three total carbs, one dietary fiber, making it two net carbs. If you wanted to toast these up, maybe fry them in some butter, you could add these two eggs, sausage, and cheese to it and still have a very low carb, keto friendly meal. I have a feeling that would be a substantial meal with two of these cauliflower thins and then two of the eggs, sausage. You could even, if you want, throw some bacon on there. I'm telling you, what is it, like five? net carbs for that that would be a big breakfast they had the massive bags of chia seeds for only $6.99 i got two i go through a lot of chia seeds i eat chia seed pudding every single day it does not spike my blood sugar at all it fills me up gives me the opportunity to have something sweet and i don't have to worry about checking my numbers constantly bonus it's organic. This is Chris's favorite macadamia nuts. It's the Kirkland brand dry roasted macadamia nuts with sea salt. Nothing else is added into these. I went ahead and got him a bag of those so he'd have them on hand when he does come home. They're good. In my opinion, I've had them in the past. These are great macadamia nuts, but they're not my favorite. My favorite is the ones that you can pick up at Publix. Then my second favorite are the ones at Target. So those are the two that I like best, but I know you guys love the Kirkland brand macadamia nuts. I saw this and I could not leave the store without it. It's cashews. Nothing else is added. This is in a glass container. It has like a stainless steel lid. So when these cashews are gone, you can just peel this label off and you're going to be able to use this container for so many other things. So it's like a win-win bonus situation, right? But I ate some of these on the way home and they spiked my blood sugar. I was like, are you kidding me? But remember, these are not gonna have the same effect on you if you're just doing low carb or keto. Since I'm a type one diabetic now, certain foods are going to affect me differently than they did before or they did in you. So I'm crushed that I cannot eat, you know, my normal handful of cashews like I did before without a massive blood sugar spike. So what I'm gonna have to do is probably limit these to like two or three with a meal. That's so sad, two or three cashews. Macadamia nuts though are doing the same thing. Now, so far I've also tested pecans and pecans don't raise my blood sugar level too much. But these two, sadly, which are my favorite nuts, do raise my blood sugar. But I'm sure the girls and Chris will be able to eat these, and so will my mom, no problem. And I get this gorgeous glass container. I went ahead and picked up the massive case of Kirkland Almond Non-Dairy Beverage. And this was a 12-pack for $12. So pretty much I'm getting my almond milk 
for a dollar a container. Now, my almond milk, I put in everything. My frappuccinos, my iced coffees, my chia seed pudding, in lots of recipes. I love makeup erasers and they had the small ones. I went ahead and picked this up. Kerrigan's gonna take the larger makeup eraser and I'm gonna take a few of the others. I like these because you don't have to add anything to them just to wash your face. All you do is run these underwater and it's gonna be able to take your makeup off. I love using a makeup eraser over makeup wipes. I rarely use those anymore. I use micellar water to take off my mascara just so that I don't pull on my eyelashes and any of those come out. But on the rest of my face, I use a makeup eraser. And look at all of those that are in there. I think this was like $19 maybe. And one makeup eraser is usually about 20 bucks. So this one even comes with the little case, the large makeup eraser and these gorgeous colors. If you wanted to pick up one of these, make up the little gift bags for some teachers or some of your best friends, you could separate these and add a few other things to it. These are the things that I picked up this time. I will be picking up more when Chris comes home and we'll be doing another Costco trip probably in December. Had to run to Walmart tonight, so I went ahead and picked up my weekly haul. Now, I say tonight, but it's only about five o'clock and it is pitch black outside. I am not a fan of this new time. Now, let me know, are your shelves as bare as mine? We're talking empty. Guess what they had in? They had in the Duncan Hines Classic Yellow Cake Mix, which is keto friendly. I got three. They had more than that. Now, a little tip. These were not down the baking aisle. These were actually in the middle. So near one of the ends where they have all of the little holiday baking items, they had none down the baking aisle and they still had none of the brownies, unfortunately. I did recently use this in a recipe. It's called pumpkin pie muffins, but I'm calling them puffins. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna link that down below for you and up in the cards, two ingredients. Now, of course, you can add whatever else you want to that recipe, but you need to go check it out. It's so easy and it's delicious. Even the freezer section was empty. I did pick up some of the sausage. This is the Great Value Fully Cooked Original Pork Sausage. I got the massive one. I just went ahead and got the family size. These are already, like it says, fully cooked. So what I do is I put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to start the thawing process. Then I throw them in a pan and brown them up. Recently, I have started dipping these in keto-friendly pancake batter or waffle batter and then just doing them that way. They're absolutely delicious. If you've not tried it, you need to. One of the items I needed was Philadelphia cream cheese and they were completely out of all of Philadelphia cream cheese. So I went ahead and picked up the Great Value 2 pack. I like picking up the Philadelphia cream cheese more than just the off brands or the store brands because Philadelphia has less carbs. But today we're just gonna have to settle for a little bit higher of a carb count because I needed some cream cheese. Now this is the one I use in a lot of my recipes, but Briley needed some. I did get her some bagels also. Didn't wanna throw those in here. Didn't wanna trigger anybody. But this is what she uses on hers. It's the whipped cream cheese spread. Needed a sour cream also for a recipe and I didn't wanna get a large one since it's just me eating sour cream. I didn't wanna give it an opportunity to go bad. So I just got the $1 great value sour cream. And I've been trying to pick up one avocado a week wanted some pepperonis to snack on i got the hormel they did have the turkey available and they had one other variety but as far as the pepperonis they didn't have much to choose from i like to put these in my pizza bowls or just to snack on you can make these in the air fryer and just crisp them up and they're like chips if you want to do that needed cheese we go through a lot of cheese who are we kidding i go through a lot of cheese and this one's my favorite one to pick up when it comes to shredded cheeses it's the one pound or the four cups great value fiesta blend and that's because it has more than one type of cheese in here organic great value unsweetened coconut flakes 
I'm thinking about adding this to a recipe. Nothing is added into these, so you don't have additional sweeteners or anything like that, so it's keeping the carb count really low. I keep telling you that my obsession with pumpkin flavor right now, it's real, people. It's real. I'm living on pumpkin chia seed pudding. I went ahead and picked up three cans. They were less than a dollar each. I think it was like 97 cents or something like that. These are 100% pure pumpkin. Nothing else is added in. I picked up one of the large packages of the Little Smokies. These little sausages, you know, during the holidays. You can put these in crock pot. You can add in some sugar-free barbecue sauce and some of the good, good jams, the one in the grape. And you can make those little cocktail weenies like we used to have back before keto. So that's why I went ahead and picked these up. There are some ingredients in here that aren't absolutely amazing, but it says 2% or less of, and that will be the sugar. Now, when it comes to carb count, it's saying that five of the links would be two total carbs. Hopefully I can handle that and won't have a blood sugar spike. We'll see. My Walmart has not had Vital Farms eggs in I think over a month at this point. And let me tell you what, I'm missing my Vital Farms. I don't know what's going on. If you do, let me know, spill the tea guys. But this time I picked up the Egglands Best Cage Free. I had a lot of you tell me that these were really good. Also got some of the Green Giant Riced Veggie. This one is the Cauliflower Risotto Medley. This is my absolute favorite one to pick up. And as many of you know, I detest the taste of cauliflower. This one does not have that. Then I just picked up one of the Great Value Riced Cauliflower Bags because there's a recipe that I'm wanting to try that I found on TikTok and I didn't want to waste my rust cauliflower risotto medley. If you've not watched the TikTok recipe videos that are keto and low carb, you need to do that. There's an entire playlist of those. I was out of coconut oil. Now, normally I get the large one at Sam's, but I'm not sure when I'm going to be going back to Sam's. But in the meantime, I went ahead and picked up the Great Value coconut oil because I did not want to be without it in case I have a recipe that calls for it. Now on top of my pumpkin chia seed pudding that I'm having every single day, I put some of the Great Value Sugar-Free Whipped Heavy Cream. I love this one. You guys have been posting over on the Facebook group a different one that you had found and some of you have access to a lot of different sugar-free ones. In my area, this is the only one I've been able to find. It's $1.88 at my Walmart and I stay stocked up on it at all times. Don't want to run out. I have talked about this quite frequently. The G Hughes Sugar-Free Dipping Sauce, the famous Cluckin' Sauce. This stuff is so good. You guys have to try it. I usually use this with the blackened Tyson's chicken that I pick up at Publix. This is an amazing dipping sauce. I don't know what the combo is that's going on in this, but I could literally drink it. It's that good. And then while I was picking up my pumpkin and coconut flakes, I saw this and this is instant espresso. So for like cooking and things. And I thought, hmm, tiramisu you say? I love tiramisu. I'd like to come up with a recipe or at least try one that's keto, low carb, and diabetic friendly. And I thought, hmm, I need this. So went ahead and picked it up. That way I'll have it on hand. Last thing that I picked up were two six packs of Diet Pepsi. One is the Diet Caffeine Free Pepsi and the other one is the Pepsi Zero Sugar. I have not tried the Pepsi Zero Sugar. Honestly, I thought, seriously, it cannot be different. But I did look at the ingredients and they do have different ingredients. Now, both of these are going to be sweetened with aspartame, but it looks like the Pepsi Zero Sugar is going to have a few different ingredients in it than the Diet Pepsi that's caffeine free. But recently, and I have always been a Pepsi person, I have fallen in love with Coke Zero Sugar. And a lot of you were asking if I'd tried the Pepsi Zero Sugar that I'm going to love it. So I need to go ahead and try it. I went ahead and picked up one as soon as I found it. I'll let you know in a future video if there is a difference and if I like Pepsi Zero Sugar or Coke Zero Sugar better. Let me know. What's your favorite soda to drink? If you drink sodas, I know they are dirty keto. They are for some people. Some people are strictly against them. But for me, I drink them and I even drink them when I'm fasting. It's called dirty fasting and that's what I do. So let me know what your favorite soda is. But now before we move on, I want to let you know this little tip. Now my mom did not know this. 
I did, I think it was Kerrigan that showed me when it comes to your bottles and if you have a hard time opening these up, check out right here. This is gonna have a perforated line. All you do is just pull this and you're gonna be able to take those bottles off. They just snap. Apparently, Briley didn't know it either, but we have always struggled. We've took scissors in the past, but it was probably about six months ago we realized that our bottles have that on there. Now Briley's doing it to all of them. small grocery haul from a local store we have here called United Grocery Outlet. They had the Mio's for $1.20. So I went ahead and picked up one of each. They did have a lot, but I wasn't sure if Chris was going to like these flavors. They had the lemonade and they also had the berry. This one is actually very great. They are sweetened with sucralose. $1.29 is an amazing deal on Mio's. Probably gonna be kicking myself for not picking up more of those. I also picked up one of the Swanson chicken broths to have on hand. I like to keep these in case I'm gonna make soups or anything like that. This one is gonna have no MSG added, non-GMO, 100% natural. There are, I believe, sugars and things like that in this one. Yeah, on the back, on the ingredients, list it does say contains 2% or less of and one of those is going to be cane sugar but the carb counts really good and the plan for this particular can of chicken broth is going to be uh, for making stuffing this year keto friendly low carb stuffing so I don't use an entire can but I do want to have one on hand. There are a lot better options out there. Kettle and Fire makes an amazing one. I think this was like 79 cents, so I went ahead and picked up one. And this is something I'd never seen before. It's the Maxwell House Iced Coffee Black 100%. There's nothing else in this other than Maxwell House Coffee. It was 88 cents, so I went ahead and picked up one. I'll put it in the fridge, and Chris will probably drink it. Last thing that I picked up was some bacon bits, like some crumbles. This is the Hormel. You see what it says right there, right? You see that? I know you do. Jalapeno. Real crumbled bacon jalapeno pieces. These were only $1.29. And that's everything that I picked up at United Grocery Outlet this week. I wanted you to see tonight's sunset. We have been having some amazing ones the last couple of weeks. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.